So we're going to start dividing a decimal by a decimal. The first thing you need to do, because there's a decimal in the divisor, is you need to slide it over once to make it a whole number. And because you did that, you need to slide it over once here. So we slide, baby, slide. And then you need to bring this decimal straight up. And I would go ahead and make sure you do that at the beginning because then you make sure your decimal is in the right spot. So now that we see 24 doesn't go into 1, so we get 0. 24 also doesn't go into 14, so we have 0 again. Then 24 does go into 145 six times, so that is 144. So we have 1 left over, we bring down the 2. The thing is, 24 doesn't go into 12, so we need to bring a 0 up. And then we can subtract 0, we have 12 left over. We're going to add a 0 here and bring that down. 24 now does go into 120 five times. Actually, it does go in evenly. And we have our answer, 605 thousandths. And the problem most people have with this is they either forget to move their decimal or that zero. Make sure if it does, like 24 didn't go into 12, make sure that zero gets put up. That's different than the zero we added after the two right here. Please make sure you understand the difference. It didn't go into 12. But we also then had to add the zero to bring it down to be able to see if it went into it. Now here's a problem for you to solve in your notebook. If you would go ahead and pause the video and solve it in your notebook and then you can come back and check it when you're done. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and solve this. We need to slide, bit of slide our decimals and then raise the roof. So 35 does not go into 17. It does not go into, sorry, it doesn't go into 1 or 17, but it does go into 176. And it goes in 5 times, and it's 175. And then we bring down our 4. It doesn't go into 14, so that's going to be where we add that 0 up there. And then we have another zero, bring that down, and it goes into 144 times. And lucky for us, it does go in evenly. So our answer here is five and four hundredths. Yes, the four has to be in the hundredths place, not in the tenths place, because that zero did need to be add, added into that. I hope you're doing well with these, and enjoy.